so in this topic we will discuss about the bandwidth requirement of am signal and the frequency domain representation so we have uh, expression for single tone modulating signal of am that is ac1 plus ma cos omega mc cos omega ct this is the standard expression and this we should remember because this is a very important one and many things will be derived from this equation only so uh, we have ac1 plus ma cos omega mt cos omega ct and to uh, calculate the bandwidth requirement or to represent the frequency domain of am we have to take the fourier transform of this expression because uh, this is this expression is in the time domain and we have to go into the frequency domain and for that we take fourier transform so for that we will expand this equation and we get s of t equal to if we multiply this ac cos omega ct we get plus ac ma cos omega ct it is a higher frequency term that's why i am writing it first cos omega ct and then cos omega mt so we are getting two components here and because this is the multiplication of two cosine wave uh, we can apply the formula of two cos a cos b which is cos a plus b and cos a minus b so we will apply the formula of two cos a cos b and for that we will multiply two and divide it by two and then we get s of t equal to ac cos omega ct plus ac ma by 2 because we have multiplied it by 2 and divided by 2 so we get ac ma by 2 and this is 2 cos a cos b 2 cos a cos b is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so cos a plus b we get omega c plus omega mt and cos a minus b so plus cos omega c minus omega mt now if we multiply this we get three components first one is ac cos omega ct second is ac ma by 2 cos omega c plus omega mt and ac ma by 2 cos omega c minus omega mt so this is very important equation and again this expression we should always remember that because for single tone sinusoidal modulating signal we will get three components we get three components first one is carrier component because it is having only the carrier term it, it is having the carrier frequency that's why it is known as carrier component and the amplitude of carrier signal is ac and frequency which is higher than carrier frequency you can note it down frequency which is higher than carrier frequency is called upper sideband frequency so this is fc plus fm if i take 2 pi common then this is fc plus fm so we are at the higher of carrier frequency so frequency component higher than carrier frequency fc plus fm so that's why it is higher than carrier frequency because we are adding some frequency and that's why it is called upper sideband term upper sideband term usb this is known as upper sideband usb frequency component higher than carrier frequency as we can see that the amplitude of carrier uh, upper sideband is ac ma by 2 and frequency component which is lower than carrier frequency is known as lower sideband so this is fc minus fm so we are below the carrier frequency so the frequency component which is less than carrier frequencies are known as lower sideband so this term will be lower sideband and in short we say lsb and the amplitude of this lower sideband is also acma by 2 so in this expression we can see that if the message signal is sinusoidal then we get three components and out of which the two components having the same amplitude and they are upper sideband and lower sideband so if the amplitude of two components is same that means they will be upper sideband and lower sideband and the third component will be 
your carrier component which is the center part which is the center frequency and the higher frequency term will be upper sideband term and its amplitude is ACMA by 2 and the lower frequency term which is less than FC is lower sideband term and its amplitude is also ACMA by 2. So, this expression is important because uh, many times you get the question in this form and you have to compare the value with this particular term ACMA by 2 and find the value of modulation index or you can find the value of carrier amplitude or you can find the power we will see that when we solve the workbook question we will see that the how important this particular equation is and this equation is also used for the to calculate is uh, to calculate the bandwidth of AM signal this equation is also used to calculate the power of AM signal. So, this equation is overall very important when the message signal is single tone sinusoidal remember this ki, this is the derived from the expression of single tone modulating signal AM expression of AM for single tone modulating signal. So, now after this because we have to calculate the bandwidth of AM we have to take the Fourier transform of this signal and the Fourier transform of cosine wave Fourier transform of cosine wave if it is AC cos 2 pi FCT its Fourier transform is given by AC by 2 del of F minus FC plus del of F plus FC it means that if I take the Fourier transform of cosine signal we get the two impulses first one is at FC and second one is at minus FC. So, whatever will be the frequency of cosine wave we get two impulses at that frequency one is positive frequency another is negative frequency. So, similarly this second term if I take the Fourier transform of this second term we get the two impulses at frequency positive FC plus FM and minus of FC plus FM and we get another two impulses for this corresponding term which is FC minus FM and minus of FC minus FM. So, positive plus minus FC minus FM plus minus FC plus FM plus minus FC. So, we are going to get six impulses when I take the Fourier transform of this particular signal. So, here we can see that the amplitude of carrier signal is going to be half when we draw the spectrum we get the amplitude of carrier signal half which is AC by 2. So, the if I take the Fourier transform of this term then also amplitude will be half of the original amplitude that is AC MA by 4. Now, if I draw the impulse. So, if I take the Fourier transform and draw it which is known as spectrum of AM this is also known as spectrum if I will say spectrum it means we are talking about frequency domain representation a spectrum of AM. So, when I take the Fourier transform of first term AC cos 2 pi FCT we get AC by 2 impulse at 2 frequency plus minus FC. So, here we are getting two impulses FC and one is at minus FC. And the amplitude is AC by 2. This is AC by 2 del F minus FC. F minus FC is equal to F equal to FC. So, it means that we will get impulse because of this term we will get impulse at FC. And if I equate it to 0 we get F equal to minus FC it means that we get impulse at minus FC because of this term similarly for other two components. So, next component is FC plus FM. So, we get FC plus FM. So, we have to add a small frequency which is FM because the message signal frequency is small that is why this component is very close to this FC because the frequency which we are adding is a small frequency. This is FC plus FM. So, corresponding to this we get plus minus FC and now corresponding to the second term we get plus minus FC plus FM. 
So, plus F C plus F M we have drawn. Now, minus F C minus F M. So, this is minus F C and minus F M means we have to subtract the same frequency which we have added and it is minus F C minus F M. So, this is equal to A C M A by 4, A C M A by 4. Now, we have third term which is F C minus F M. So, corresponding to this we get plus minus F C minus F M that means F C minus F M the frequency which we have added we have to subtract the same frequency we get like this F C minus F M and minus F C plus F M minus F C plus F M and the amplitude is same A C M A by 4 amplitude is same. like this. So, this is the spectrum of AM signal for single tone modulating signal. This is our carrier term. Frequency component higher than carrier frequency is known as upper side bend. Frequency component less than carrier frequency is known as lower side bend. Frequency component less than carrier frequency is known as lower side bend. It is lower side bend. Now, it is carrier and it is upper side bend. The mirror image, the mirror image, this is our thumb is representing upper side band and its mirror image is like this. So, thumb here is representing a upper side band. So, the negative part is nothing but the mirror image of positive part. So, we have to draw the spectrum only for the positive part and for negative side, we have to take just the mirror image of positive side. And now, we have to calculate the bandwidth of AM. So, bandwidth is calculated from one side of a spectrum, one side of a spectrum and it is only the positive side because the frequency should be positive. So, that is why we calculate the bandwidth from the positive side. This is our positive side because it is 0, this is the positive side. So, if we calculate the bandwidth required to transmit this type of signal, then it is this is the highest frequency and this is the lowest frequency. So, the difference between highest frequency and lowest frequency is bandwidth. This is bandwidth. So, now bandwidth will be B is equal to highest frequency minus lowest frequency. Highest frequency is F C plus F M and minus of lowest frequency is F C minus F M and if I solve this we get 2 times of F M. So, bandwidth of AM signal is 2 times of AM. Bandwidth required to transmit AM signal is 2 times of FM that is 2 times of message signal frequency. So, whatever will be the message signal frequency given to us, we will just twice it and we will get the bandwidth required to transmit AM signal. So, this is the frequency domain representation of AM where we see that how we can plot the frequency domain representation of AM and how we can calculate the bandwidth from this frequency domain. Bandwidth is always calculated from one side of a spectrum that is positive side. So, remember this students sometimes uh, do the mistake like uh, they calculate the highest frequency from here and the lowest frequency from the negative side which is wrong. Okay? So, the bandwidth is always calculated from positive side of a spectrum. So, in this way we get the bandwidth required to transmit AM signal is 2 FM.